everyone. Ian here at NAB 2016. I've stopped over to talk to Jeremy here to look at the Shogun Flame. Uh, this is one of the first products out here that is opening up a brand new door for us. You know, in the past, the problem's always been we've had these cameras at this wide dynamic range, but we had to sort of tunnel or funnel it into these, you know, small dynamic range presentation screens. So. This is an amazing product. Really happy to spend time talking about this because you're really the first guys out there to really embrace this and put this in a very affordable package. So why don't you uh, just tell us in the menus here, first of all, what HDR does yes. and how you are using that to evaluate images in this product. Yeah, so um, HDR is all about, the, as you said, the, the dynamic range or the brightness range, I like to call it, so people kind of don't get that technical term. So the brightness range of these sensors is, has been getting wider and wider, but we've been limited by the old CRT Rec 709 narrow dynamic range standard, which was necessary for small file sizes, transmission over analog, all they were, it was a necessary evil. Right. And, and for years, we've, well for 50 to 100 years, or 50 years, what is it, 80 years now yeah, since yeah. Rec 709, we've, we've had to either expose for the, the high bright points or the dark areas and then you would compromise at each end. And that isn't how the eye works. The eye works on a much wider brightness range. So we've been compromising and the skill in video has been to get close to what you see with your eye using this limited range and that was the talent of people. Now. If you have a log camera, and this is the beauty of it, if you have a log camera, which many, many people do, Canon, Sony, they've all been log cameras for a long time, we can now resolve that brightness range on the screen. How do we do that? Well, instead of a 400 nit panel, we now have a 1500 nit panel. So this gives us a wider range, 1500 nit at the top where the sun is, and then right down to the blacks where at one nit. So we've got a big range, so we're starting to see like the eye can see. And, but it's all about log curves and all this technical stuff. Well, Atomos in, in our endeavor is always to simplify that for creative right. people, make it a very easy tool to use, like the iPhone did for phones, right? right? That's our goal. And I think we've been achieving that for a while. So let me take you through how it works. First thing you need to make sure is that you've got your waveform up, because it's all about, and Luma Parade, so it's all about brightness, so it's all about the luminance. Right. And I've got my Luma Parade here showing me some contrasty bits of the image. Now, when I come in, I'm on Sony Log 2 coming from this camera. And obviously you can see that I've got some bright points here and I've got some dark points. Now, if you see this dynamic range line here, this tells me how much I'm displaying on this screen. As I move down the curve, I just, I'm increasing what's displayed. So I'm increasing the range of brightness. Now I can go right down to the, to the full range of this sensor's capability, but this scene isn't capturing all of that because my brightness range isn't the same as S-Log 2's brightness range, it's a bit less. So you can see if I display the full, it get, gets very dark. So I don't want to do that. I want to come back up and represent what I'm seeing here on the panel and that's pretty close to what I'm seeing. And look, I'm right at the, I'm touching the top of the the end of the dynamic range of this sensor right. image. It's important to understand that we haven't changed the iris, we haven't changed the shutter. We haven't so changed the anything. the amount of light hitting the sensor hasn't changed. How you're evaluating that range has. Correct. And we are recording all of this in log form. So I'm just representing on the monitor so you can expose properly. Right. So that when you w need to finish in HDR in the next year, because all the TVs are coming now, Netflix are going HDR, Apple's going HDR, all the movie theaters are going to go HDR. Vimeo today, we're partnering with them on our booth. They've announced HDR log playback with PQ, which is the Rec 709 of right. TVs yeah. for HDR. So PQ equals the HDR curve. Um, and we play out PQ from here so that you can play this out to a monitor. But we don't touch the log footage. The ProRes log stays as it is. You can pull out Rec 709 at the end if you want or you can master for HDR. Right, so you have all the necessary things going on in the background to interpret what you're getting, and because we can select the different log gammas, it's going to display it properly. Correct. And this is a big And there's deal. no guesswork. Right, because now we can really start to see what we're capturing. Yeah, and if you go back to the native source video, um, in this case, and I go down, you know, and I, I turn up the brightness, that's the only option that I had, and the only options that I had was then to stop down, and I'd lose detail, right. or stop up, Whereas now, if I, if I go right up and then I turn on my HDR, then you see those, Precisely. they pop, right? So I'm really utilizing that brightness range. And I think 
I've been shooting every weekend since we had this product. Why? Because I can now capture my daughter with the sun on her yeah. the way I saw it. Right. Whereas before, I was hopeless at capturing what I really saw and I was always disappointed. So the qu other question is, how about the folks who are already invested in your products and want to enjoy the same type of Nice lead-in, nice lead-in. <laughs> so we're, we are so thankful that in five years we've become a major player in this industry and we have 150,000 customers globally that we've sold recorders and monitors to. And our thank you for that, and we are humble and grateful for that support. And to thank those customers, every product that is capable of doing this brightness, and we, the engine's called Atom HDR, and we've been working for a year on it. That engine is actually very efficient, and we can actually fit it into our older products. Even though it's not at 1500 nits, so like this bright point is at 1500 nits, so it gives us a nice contrast there. On our 400 nit displays from Ninja Blade, Samurai Blade, Shogun, Ninja Assassin, all the products from the last two to three years will receive a, a free Atom HDR update. We can't display 1500 nits on those panels, so the brightness range won't be as poppy as the flames, um, but we can display it. So the top point will be at 400 nit and the bottom point at one nit, not at 1501. Um, so, but it still looks fantastic. You can still expose correctly. You can still make sure you got the shot that you want f to finish in HDR, and we're giving that for free to every customer okay, that's that out there. Okay, that was my next question. So, you're going to deliver free firmware. So, with the limitations of your display yes. panel, you still get to enjoy the same feature. Exactly, which is fantastic. And of course, you know you've incorporated all the legacies from all the other products. Absolutely. You've made, so we still can load 3D LUTs in here. Of course. All that great stuff, and yeah. you have your great audio choices, all that kind of stuff. So. Uh, Available now? Available now. Shogun Flame, Ninja Flame. Ninja Flame is 12.95. Shogun Flame is 16.95. This is not out of the ballpark for a monitor only, so but this is a recorder now. as well, and an edit device and a playback device. And then we've got Shogun Inferno, which will ship in Q3 this year, which is our 4K P60 product, which is for those newer cameras, mm -hmm. like FS7 does 4K P60, the right. DVX200 does 4K P60, a lot of the high-end ones that I know Abel's famous for selling, like the F55s, and, the, and they're all 4K P60. And it's also quad input on the Inferno. So that kind of solves that problem for a lot of people where they, we had 12 gig one link, we thought everyone would go to that, yeah. but we we're a bit early. Yeah. So we've, we've now retro, retrofitted both 12 gig and four three gig inputs so that you can connect to the very cams, the F55s. Fantastic. Thank you so much, Jeremy. Thanks, Ian. you got to stop by, check this out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.